From there, the basket comes to my rinse sink. And we're, we're using, and it's important here to use hot water. If we use cold water, that's gonna slow down the uh, drying process. So we wanna use hot spray water. And we're, we're blowing off any residual soot that's left and any of the soap residue. From there, I'm taking my basket. Onto my drain back, my compressed air. Especially with cups or bowls, you wanna go into the cavity to blow as much of the water out. so that when we go into the drying chamber, we're drying, we're drying the product off and not having to uh, evaporate water. We slide in as far forward as the basket will go. And I would have this running Really, when you start your morning process, go ahead and turn it on so that the, ca the cabinet starts to heat up. I'll go ahead and rinse the rest of this off. The drying process takes, appro takes approximately six minutes, so after a six minute cycle, we'll be bringing everything out the uh, back end of the tunnel dryer to wrap.